All right, here's what I'm calling the rubber band jewel thief pulse motor. And that's that rubber band uh, jewel thief oscillator that's making the LED go off of a one and a half volt AA battery using the collapsing magnetic field of that coil being triggered by a magnet going back and forth in front of a reed switch right there but I got to thinking I wonder if I put a rotor in front of that whether that oscillating motion would sync up with a real low friction uh, rotor four magnet rotor and I got it to work it was very hard to do but uh, Anyway, that's what I'm calling the rubber band Jewel Thief Pulse Motor. This is what it sounds like. And what's actually going on here is like a magnet motor. And it's not being driven by the electrical magnet here. It's too far away. It's being driven by this thing going in and out. And that's just at the right frequency to push on the magnets that are on that rotor. And... Um, very inefficient, not a good way to turn a rotor, but it was interesting to be able to see how you could take a permanent magnet and get it to sync up with a rotor and get it to turn from a distance from an electromagnet. And uh, this is what it, uh, I'll take the oscillator part away, and this is what uh, what I've got here is that's inertia running down there. You see the magnets going back and forth? That's just running down on inertia, and as that slows down, that's going to get more and more obvious what's going on there. Is you've got magnets uh, working against one another, permanent magnets, and as this rotor goes around, it pushes pulls on, on that uh, rubber band magnet thing there. And uh, the way the uh, magnet motors work is they push this thing in and out somehow, with a lever arm or something and make it look like it's actually uh, doing something and a lot of the designs they put some kind of a lever mechanism on this with a cam so that this will push back and forth at just the right time and make the, the magnet motor go and I got to thinking well I can do that with this uh, oscillator and if I get the oscillator set up there just right and uh, get this thing set up there just right I could probably get this to sync up and uh, it was very hard to do it was a lot harder than I thought to get the uh, oscillation frequency to sync up with that rotor there but uh, anyway it was just something fun to fiddle around with today it was a uh, combination of a magnet motor kind of thing with a little uh, reed switch uh, pulse motor Thanks for watching.